We have a rather interesting AMD rumour for you today, thanks to some sources of the guys over at bitsandchips.it. And the sources are basically saying that at the moment there are two versions of the Raven Ridge APU under development. One with a 12 CU's GPU and one with a 16 CU's GPU. I want to go through the differences between the two. So the first one on the table today is the Raven Ridge FP5, which, you know, Shock Horror has a, a FP5 socket, a TDP of 4 to 35 watts, of course it's going to be Zen, 4 to 8 core thread, GPU Arch is going to be Vega, GPU C uses 12, IMC is DDR4, it's going to be a 14nm FinFET process and 170mm squared die size. As for the other one, it's going to be AM4, which again is going to be an AM4 socket, a much higher TDP of 35 to 95 watts, again going to be Zen and 4 to 8 cores and threads. Vega once again, 16 GPU CUs, and for the IMC we have a DDR4 plus HBM2. It is still going to be 14nm FinFET, FinFET of course, however it is going to be a 210mm squared die size. So what are we actually looking at here? Well, the FP5 is clearly going to be targeted towards a sort of low maintenance device such as say a netbook or a notebook depending on your preference of, of naming there and obviously the beefier one with the HBM2 is going to be the desktop AM4 socket. Now the thing to remember from all of this is that we don't yet know if both of these will actually be commercialised. AMD have cancelled a lot of products in the past, so it is entirely possible that the lower power Raven Ridge will be chucked in the bin. But, you know, they're at least studying it, they're at least looking at a desktop and a notebook variation of the Raven Ridge APU. It'll be actually really interesting if they do end up doing this. As you would see, quite a lot of power being delivered to those small devices like a notebook or something like that. So, I will include the link to the source in the description below. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.